Hey subbies, how's it going? Today I've got a different video for you. It has been requested by someone who put a lot of comments, um, suggestions on that video idea video. And today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favourite TV programmes because this has been requested and I've already done top 10 favourite films and top 10 favourite beauty products. This is going to be the top 10 favourite TV programmes. Let's get on with the video. So 10 is Doctors, and yes, I've put it on a pad of paper, because this is just going to help me get through the video. 10 is Doctors. Doctors is on BBC One every single day except weekends. Um, it's a drama, and it looks more into detail on the Doctor's lives and not the patients. It's mainly, you just know the Doctors and the staff at the Mill Centre. And I've been reading some of the watching news recently, like, like the last couple of months, but I do record it every day and I do watch it, but that's number 10. Number 9 is Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, and yes, I might some spell mistakes, but who cares. Um, I've put a cross out pound there because basically on this, if you can't pay, they will take it away, um, such as like your items of furniture everything to get um to get the payment up and this is based in the UK. It's jobs that it's that it's basically day to day life of a job of a high court officer. They get the court, they get the the I forgot what you call it, that's annoying. They get the thing, they have to go um to evict people to get payment off people and if they can't get payment off people they will have to take the possessions away to get that payment up. So that was number nine. Number eight is Animal Corps Houston, and I've put a little tiny little plastic cat at the top, bottom. Yes, I'm rubbish at drawing, but number eight is Animal Corps Houston. Animal Corps Houston is on Animal Planet channel. It is amazing, and it's different cases and it's real life about the animals. There's no, it doesn't go into depth about the piece of purple pillar, but people's lives. It's all about the animals, and it takes you to basically we've got body cams on to take you to the scene, and they show you what it's like and basically it's just about the animals, what happens in the end and it tells you at the end of the video as well what happens to each pet that they saved so that's number 8 Number 7 is definitely a weird one, I spelt I've done it wrong it's Brick Cam's Emergency on the Street and I've put a little camera rubbish at drawing this is number 7 and basically this is people in for the ambulance, paramedics police officers and fire brigade and all of them have better cams on and they take it to the scene of each um, kind of they do it now for protection and for evidence in going to court and evidence for court trials and everything but it's really interesting to watch people with these cams on and see like in real life what happens on the streets they also do it in taxi cabs as well to see what different stories they get and this, I don't know what channel it's on, but I know that Doctor on BBC One, Can't Pay Will Take It Away, is on ITV, I think. No, in, no I can't remember that's on. Animal Cops Houston is definitely Animal Planet. And Brit Emergent, Brit Cam's Emergent Streets, I think that's one, I don't know. So now we're number six. Number six is Law and Order SVU, Special Victims Unit. And I've put that, I meant to put it as, because it's Law and Order, I meant to put that as a court thing, but it didn't go right. So that's number, number six is Lauren Adler SVU. I watch this, I'd actually watch this, I record this and I watch it every now and then so that's why it's quite up at the top. Like tens I do like to watch but number one is the best to watch that I just cannot not watch. So yeah, Lauren Adler is really good. It's quite a sensitive subject um, because it's Special Victims Unit so it's about um, just about I don't mistake because I do get told or I might get told by YouTube but um, they do like special victims units like it's a good thing I put my own in just realise that and I don't know what program it's on I can't remember um, but it's a really good program it definitely gets in definitely gets in like kidnappings and stuff so it's really really good and that was number five is called midwife and that is a baby which looks very weird I didn't want to put a smile first because babies do not smell when they're spun. Call the Midwife season has just ended. Actually, it's only just a couple of months ago, but I watched it and really, really good. I love Call the Midwife because I, I watched it from the beginning. I like Miranda Harting, there's special people in there. And it's just a really nice programme. It, 
goes into depth in the lives of the um people of the characters of each episode um in equals out so of the midwives and of the patients it's really good and it's very very detailed now number four is bondi vet and that is a rubbish first aid pretty simple but bondi vet is amazing bondi vet is on and i can't remember i really can't remember what it's on i record bondi vet i like it because the vet chris brown is really really handsome and just watch it and it's such a good um program because it's it's got a very different perspective on it it's really nice and it's based in two different locations sash which is an animal hospital and also chris's veterinary practice so different two lo different two locations what the heck two different locations and it goes into detail on the animals not the cat not the vets and it's real life so that's number four Number three is Holby City and that is an A&E, I'm rubbish at drawing as I said, I'll emphasize that, I'm rubbish at, draw rubbish at drawing, but number three is Holby City. Holby City is on every single Tuesday and it's on BBC One. I watch this because it's such a good program and it's equally into the lives of the patients and the characters, like the doctors and the nurses and everything. Um, and it's really, really good. I definitely recommend watching it. Um, I record this instead of record it, which is quite good, but we've got to do can record stuff. But it's just, like, it looks into the NHS what it's like, because it does bring up different matters of the NHS. And that goes on to the next one, which is... Number two is Casualty. And it just says life, because recently a lot of be lots been happening in Casualty. Um, I don't have a spot for any of you, I really don't. Um, like with Cal and with Ethan and just a lot's been happening and I said in number Holby City in number three that basically it goes in a lot of NHS there's um, as it says in the film in not in the film in the TV program casualty it brings up a lot about NHS about that there's um, cuts um, staff cuts and stuff and it equally it actually focuses mainly on doctors not hospital staff lives it doesn't really go to the patient's lives it's just mainly in the hospital's life and that was number two now on to number one number one was my all-time favorite and it's definitely not a even i didn't have to think about number one it's number one is scorpion yes it is very filled this in it is a team of geniuses um there's five members actually seven team members and on here I've got it very detailed, so as you can see there's a lot. So there's Toby. Toby's a doctor, he actually worked at he actually went to Harvard University and it's a it is based in America. Toby's a doctor and a psychologist a psychologist. He's really nice. And then there's Happy. Happy's a mechanic. There's Walter who is the leader of the team. Then there's Paige who is the like the emotional person, she's there to, like, she's there because she's got a son called Ralph, who's a genius, and in the first episode and first season, they met, like, that team met Paige and Ralph, and that's how they came in, um, she didn't know he was a genius, but, uh, Paige translates the world for them, for reality, um, because they don't really switch on emotions and everything, um, and then there's Sylvester, who, He's a few who humor calculator and he's also got OCD and he hates anything that's like he's definitely he's got OCD, he's got all these things, he's such a lovely bubbly character. And then there's Happy, no, Cape. Cape is the government person, he hel he helps with any government issues and he's their government person. So yeah, um Happy and Toby love each other and because some of you may not watch it, and some of you may watch it, they get married. Then Paige and Walter love each other, which is good for Ralph, because Ralph wants Walter to be his dad. Um, well, probably secretly. Sylvester's just on his still in zone. Actually, Sylvester got married, but I just don't want to give it away. And then KB is just the government handler. Oh, I love Scorpion. It's so amazing. They're actually on ITV2. They asked, um, they've released season one, because now... 
season three is on and recording that it's going to take a couple of weeks and it's going to take quite a long time it's going to still be recording when we go on holiday so yeah we'll have to watch her and come back for holiday but there's 25 episodes in season three we actually get stranded on a deserted island for three weeks and the thing that keeps coming up on facebook is will i survive or not which yes it's quite exciting but we, we're not me and jake are not going to watch it until we've got all season all the episodes because we've only got so many episodes at the moment and we need one to ten as well so yeah i'm really excited to watch season three i love scorpion they're so nice it's such it's a drama so it's all fake but it's such a good program how they've how it gets you to think about it and how different like their medical comes in with toby and then like he's basically the team's doctor because anything happens in these there and then he's the shrink so he like toby can look at someone and different motions like hand motions um he picks up on and tells you um he reads people oh i just love it and then walter's really nice and cave and oh it's just amazing really can follow season three but i do what i'm watching over again by season one because it's going to take a long time season three to come out you watch oh it is on netflix as well and it's also on catch up as well so if you want to watch it is i'm not going to link it because i'm not being sponsored but yeah it's really really good and i love it so yeah Remember to like, subscribe and comment below. That was my top 10 favourite TV Top 10 favourite TV programmes. I love you all guys and tomorrow I'm going to see my dad in the morning. So love you all guys, baby sell smile. Bye! I might have a haul, but there's only one reason. Because I'm really craving chocolate. Because I, I really am craving chocolate. So, and there's a reason. So yeah. Bye guys, love you all. Baby smile. Bye!